Yesterday, I posted a video showing how the Bureau of Meteorology, Australia's bomb, had been doctoring Australia's climate history and by removing historical hot days of the past and how what should have been known as Australia's hottest ever day uh, was recorded in Burke back in 1909, a temperature of 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 51.7 degrees Celsius should be known as Australia's hottest ever day. But the Bureau of Meteorology have come up with these bogus excuses to try and uh, rewrite history. Well, that's not the only trick the Bureau of Meteorology have used to get headlines for the global warming cult and agenda. One of the best tricks the Bureau of Meteorology have used to put an artificial warming bias in our climate history has been to change the size of the Stevenson screens. Now, the Stevenson screens are those white louvered boxes that you sometimes see that are used to house the thermometer and the measuring equipment. The idea is that the white louvers, uh, double louvers, protect the thermometer from the direct rays of the sun, but still allow the air to flow past on the thermometer. Now, traditionally, Australia has used what are called large size Stevenson screens. These have been used since the 1900s and have been used, and that was the traditional size we used here in Australia, the large size. But over the last few decades, the Bureau of Meteorology have systematically and methodically replaced every large size Stevenson screen in Australia and substituted with a small size Stevenson screen. And not just a little bit smaller, it is substantially smaller. Australia's large size Stevenson screens are 230 litres or 0.23 cubic metres, the internal measurement, where the small size is only 60 litres or 0.06 of a cubic metre. That's correct, yes. 0.06 uh, of a cubic metre. Now that's a 74% reduction in size of the Stevenson screen, which houses the thermometers which take Australia's temperature readings around the nation. Now, common sense would lead you to think that perhaps, perhaps that may, the smaller screen may read hotter. That's what I would think would happen. But the Bureau of Meteorology say, no, no, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. We've changed the equipment, but it's had no effect on the temperature recordings in Australia. However, the Bureau of Meteorology's assertions have been completely and thoroughly debunked by a peer-reviewed study, a peer-reviewed study from Spain titled The Impact of Two Different Size Stevenson Screens on Air Temperature Measurements. So in Spain, they did what the Bureau of Meteorology should have done and run a proper trial to see what the difference is when you change from a large size Stevenson screen to a small size Stevenson screen. Now the results of that peer-reviewed Spanish study, and I quote exactly from the results, the results show that the medium-sized Stevenson screen tended to overheat daily maximum air temperatures by 0 0.54 of a degree Celsius. So that's over half a degree Celsius that the smaller size measures hot averaged over the year. Now, it's half a degree. When you think we are turning this economy upside down and spending trillions of dollars and destroying our nation's wealth because we are trying to stop a small fraction of a degree, or they say that a 1.5 degrees increase since the mid-1800s is a huge problem, and yet here we have more than half a degree of warming artificially created by the change of Stevenson screens in a peer-reviewed study. But that was 0 0.54, the half a degree was just the average. The Spanish study also found on the very hottest days in the middle of summer, that the average actually was the average difference of how the smaller screen measured hotter was 0 0.92 of a degree. So in summer, it was almost an entire degree hotter being measured by the smaller Stevenson screen. 
with a maximum of up to 1.7 degrees hotter in the smaller Stevenson screen. And yet here we have the Bureau of Meteorology saying nothing to see here, no problem, don't worry, this has an effect of the temperatures. They are The Bureau of Meteorology are denying the peer-reviewed science that shows they have put an artificial warming bias into Australia's climate. The Spanish study also notes, and again, I quote directly from it, it says, air temperature observations from the nearby station Darcotta confirmed an overheating bias is introduced by a change of the large size Stevenson screen to a medium sized one. Now the size differences that they are talking about are very comparable with Australia's change from large to small. And here they are saying that that is put, confirming a peer reviewed science, peer reviewed study, says changing the size of the Stevenson screen, quote, has introduced an overheating bias in the records. And yet this is what the Bureau of Meteorology have done at every single weather station throughout Australia. They, for the old weather station that we had long-term records, they've pulled out the large Stevenson screen and put in a smaller Stevenson screen, which all the evidence shows measures hotter temperatures. What a, what a good trick that is. Now, there's an easy way to resolve this, to see whether the Spanish study is correct, because if it is, Australia's temperature records should be ripped up and start over again, and half of the Bureau of Meteorology should be sacked for not doing this before. All we have to do of the massive funds that float to the Bureau of Meteorology from the taxpayers, take just a small proportion of that and set up an independent study pick a several geographic locations throughout Australia, put side by side the same temperature gauges, put one in a large Stevenson screen, one in a small Stevenson screen, run it for 12 months and see what the difference is. Now, if the Bureau of Meteorology had any integrity whatsoever, that is exactly what they would do. But we know they won't because they would be terrified of what the results show. The Bureau of Meteorology have just become a prop propaganda organisation for the global warming industry. They seem not to be interested in the scientific method and not interested in the truth of what Australia's real climate history is and what a temperature is.